Yeah, you know, nights like this never get old. You know, this is our ninth uh, NCAA tournament appearance, so <clears throat> it's easy when you know you're in the tournament and you're not waiting around <clears throat> if your name's going to be called or not. So uh, we embrace the opportunity and we're in the tournament. And I know, uh, you know, Marquette's a very good basketball team and preparation will start here when we get back to the office on Marquette. Uh, same situation, second game announced, same site that you're going to. I mean, everything's the same pretty much as it was last year except the seed. Just what are your thoughts on, on all of that? You know, uh, <clears throat> you know it, it's second call. You know, last year was the same thing. I guess uh, hopefully next year, three times a charm, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully, uh, I don't know. Not a lot of creativity, right? But. Um, you know what, like I, I told our guys, I, I, I think, you know, the reason why you get in that large is how we, how we scheduled in November and December, right? And, you know, we didn't, uh, you know, the Houston loss at home hurt us and, and then getting bounced in the first round of the, of the conference tournament doesn't help your seed. So um, probably two and a half weeks ago, we're looking at probably a six seed. You lose those two games, you move down in eight. Last year, we were a nine, right? When we went to Columbia. Is that what we were? So, you know, you got to put that behind us and go get ready and play a really good good Marquette team. And then, you know, you get there, you get an opportunity. You want <clears throat> to play the, the best team in the country. Coach, the big difference this year, you're wearing a white jersey. You're an eight seed. And I, yeah. I think that's huge. Yeah. The guys refereeing the game see that. They know who's the higher seed. You think that? Absolutely. Okay. Got to get that white jersey out. <laughs> All that notwithstanding, do you think you deserved a higher seed? You know what? I, hey, I don't. I don't think we controlled what we needed to control the last two and a half weeks of the season. So we deserve to be seated where we where we got seated. What does that loss in the opening round of the conference tournament do to you know, give them some fire in their bellies? That's what I told our guys. You know, this was the tenth year of that tournament. We've played for the championship six times. The other three times we lost in the semifinal. It was the only time we've ever been bounced in that first round. It happens. It's part of sports, right? It wasn't our night. We didn't play well. We didn't coach well. I didn't do a, I, I, you know, apparently I didn't do a good enough job preparing those guys. So, you know, all focus is, uh, is put on Marquette right now. What have you all done in the ensuing days? Did you give them time off? Did you go back to work? Yeah, of course. We gave them time off. We came back on Friday. We did, we did, uh, we did individual workouts and played. I mean, right now, it's, it's just making sure we're doing the right things, getting up and down the floor, staying in good shape, conditioning-wise. And, and uh, you know, tomorrow we'll start working. We didn't have an opponent to, to work on. You know, we've had 120 practices and shoot-arounds. So, you know, um, the time to <clears> – <throat> what else are you going to do right now? Yeah. I'll say the way the schedule weirdly set up, you had kind of a little break, and then you had some – another break. Is this yeah. almost like a reset kind of, you know, with how you're managing the team and all? Yeah, because we had a, we had some time after the Cincinnati, even before Cincinnati, we only had that one game here against Tulsa. Then we had a break, of it. we had a week to Cincinnati, then uh, another week to to play Wichita. So it's not like we weren't rested, but you know, hopefully we can just get back into the flow of things and just play. Do you know anything about Marquette? Any basics or? No, you know I, I know they went out they went out and, and scheduled the right way. Look look who they played in in, in November. They had some very very good wins. Uh, so, we'll uh, start working on that tonight. Have you seen your, your two seniors, uh, you know, kind of light the the fire of sorts, you know, knowing that the other day wasn't what they wanted? Have you kind of seen yeah, them take a little bit know, more leadership? You think, you know, you don't win 26 games for a reason. You know, we're a pretty good basketball team. You know, we got beat by Wichita State. If you look at the stats, that's, that's uh, we hadn't been – we hadn't given up, but we gave up from the floor, from three against anybody all year. And then on the offensive end, we shot very that was we shot very poorly as well. So uh, they understand, you know. Right now, you got you got 60, 68 teams, right? You know, well after that first weekend, thirty two are done. So your your next loss could be your last game of the season. So um, and, and they're mindful of that. All the chatter today is going to be about bubble teams and seeds and all that, but then you play games and you've got a team, you've got three dynamic scorers and a pretty solid team, so do you have the confidence level with 
hey, whoever you guys line up against, you can yeah, give them a run it here. It doesn't matter. I mean, we've challenged, we challenge, we've, our program's challenged uh, ourselves in November and December every year. So it's not any, you know, we, we, we're playing UConn every year in, 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 in the Big East and the American. And they Two were the best times. basketball program in the country. So, I mean, last year, look, look at who we played Connecticut, Tennessee, Oregon, Stanford. Look who we played this year. So, you know, uh, again, but on this team, you only got, you know, you only got a couple guys that have experienced that. So, it's, it's much different. Coach, the bad news, you get bounced in that first round of the tournament. The good news is the wear and tear on your girls. You don't have those two and three days in a row playing. I'd rather have played three days in a row. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we could have fixed the wear and tear with cryo, massages, time off. You know, I think it, you know, it digs in you more mentally than anything else and emotionally because, you know, our kids are disappointed. You mentioned to the crowd, you know, we think we think you're we're ready for the NCAA tournament. Do you think, after getting shockingly knocked down, that you know there's a new incentive here? Well, you know, off of this off of this team, you only got you only got two seniors, so um, you would hope that what happened in in, in Dallas is going to in Fort Worth is going to prepare this program for the future, right? And I'm sure they'll they'll have lessons. Ellen Dulce have lessons moving forward as well. League, the the league obviously picked East Carolina last uh, this this year. I know right. Kim had a heck of a job to turn that program around for them to go win a conference championship, make this league a two bid league. And what can you say about the job that, that yeah, they did? She did a great job. I mean, they were picked last for a reason. They finished tenth last year and lost their best player. So where were you going to pick them? Right? She did a phenomenal job with that group. You know, they had an electric freshman, and you know the returners. The returners did a good job in the offseason to get better. And, uh, you know, deservingly, it's great for, for Kim and her program and her kids. But, you know, if, if, if you got media and coaches. Where else were you going to pick them? Coach, find a way to survive in advance now, right? Yeah, that's what March is all about. Coach, over the last couple of years, uh, the women's tournament's kind of lagged behind the men's tournament in terms of amenities, things like that, things for the girls. Have you had a conversation with the NCAA over the last year or so? I know last Yeah, year they've been better. very, very positive conversations. I, I, I think, you know, our game's headed in a great direction. Uh, the next step for women's basketball in the NCAA tournament is shared revenue and units. When that happens, you'll see an explosion of women's basketball and a, a different type of investment all around the country in women's basketball, and it is going to happen. Coach, all game. hands on deck for the game. What's that? All hands on deck for the game. What do you mean? Your team. Everybody Your hands on deck. Everybody yeah, yeah. Double? We'll dress out the same guys we dressed out in Fort Worth. Yeah, all hands on deck.